When you drive by a tandem cyclist, feel free to give them a little boost. A lot of times when you see a tandem bike, there's probably a visually impaired person there. And so really, if you could encourage them, you know, we love that. Matthew is an Army veteran who became visually impaired after he was in a car accident in 2014 while at home on leave. When I uh, broke my neck, they told me I wouldn't necessarily be able to run or do those kind of things again. But Matthew proved them all wrong and has been tandem riding for almost 10 months now. He says he loves the fast speeds and team aspect this sport offers. If you're hurting, at least there's somebody else hurting with you and it's suffering. And that's something that I learned in the military that we're all going through the same thing. We sweat and bleed together and it's the same way with tandem cycling. Matthew's tandem cycling pilot Greg Miller says working on hill climbs like this one on Gold Camp Road helps build a team's tandem chemistry. When you stand up out of the saddle for instance to sprint or climb out of the saddle you have two people trying to balance the bike at the same time and so if they're not in sync the bike will squirrel all over the road or maybe even fall over. So it's, uh, it's, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, work that goes into the team actually gelling and getting that chemistry that's required to do well. Today's goal to reach the top, but Matthew's ultimate goal is to take his tandem riding skills to the next level. Long term, my goal is to make the national team and hopefully make a run for the Paralympics one day.